Freedom! See, with him, he let it reflect on freedom. The Rask got me. 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 The Rask got Tesco or Dilbert or the in it clip. A power C rec come left, what not to Senac or Sesto Tez Dunraville. See, Lono can cover by it. Then what pins of civil fish groups are? Travis and Raji got to tumble us. He on Kip the Baco Eoka. The crowd lane platis bonus rene asar. Lat tacida exorti extra edges. Vot him lea sozo. Ot orreta ansen ab hosno. Frequens la si bako. Kilis ke bosco en kip in nazi vilabaka dem. Hm? California's Mojave Desert five years ago. Our historic first view of the alien ship Gruza. Theirs was a slave ship carrying a quarter million tank tanees bred to adapt and labor in any environment. Physically stronger than human beings with keener senses and two hearts. These alien newcomers have joined the California workforce including the LA Police Department. They've been welcomed by many but feared and hated by so-called purists. With no way to leave Earth the Tanktonese newcomers have become the latest addition to the population of Los Angeles. Smells good. How about these roses? Uh, has to be alive. Oh, for a newcomer? 
Hey, what do you got, all right? Well, these daffodils are nice, uh, and you can plant the bulbs. Fine. Excuse me. Kermit, could you put a, uh, a bow around these? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want a slag touching my stuff. Fun, they're so cool. You didn't see them. Everybody's got them. I don't care, Anne. Jill's got a pair. Forget it. I'm not buying you those boots. I'm not paying $300 for a pair of boots. I'll pay half. Please. Hi, Nemo. It's George. Uh, it's 4.30. I'll be leaving in about an hour. I'll pick up some uh, bladder and ligaments for dinner. Bladder again? Hey, going to the gym. Might be late. Bye. Visitor in front door. Yes? For a uh, detective Francisco? <laughs> That's my husband. Please sign here. Us must asleep. I'm gonna watch TV. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Who sent flowers to Dad? Let your father open that. flowers to the house and when she smoked it. George, I'm so sorry. Was the delivery man newcomer or human? Good. The neighbor saw him leave. He didn't seem to be suffering any ill effects. Officer! Get away from there! Until we know what we are dealing with, I want to keep all newcomer personnel away from the scene of the crime. Put Emily and Susan in full isolation. Hi. Thanks. Come on. George, you and your son ride with me to the hospital. I just got home. There was this anti-Malathion demonstration, the killer bee thing. The stakes are frozen. Sorry. Lorraine, come in. Come in. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, they detailed George to the mayor's office, so I'm stuck out there without my partner, surrounded by a bunch of snarling environmentalist wackos. I tell you, these people got no respect for human life. Mm. I like the look. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm just gonna hop into the shower. Uh, look, uh, have a seat. I got some potato chips somewhere. There's beer in the fridge. Give me two minutes. Matt, you forgot to say hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. I, I better get in the shower. Where's Matt? 
Who's that at the door? Kathy. Uh, Lorraine and I were just gonna have a little bite. I just got a call from the hospital. Susan and Emily were just taken to intensive care. What? It seems they were purposely infected with some kind of virus. I'll get my shirt. Brian? Mark? Mark tells me you're the one who sent the flowers to the newcomer family. You took some of our virus and contaminated the flowers. You see, Miss Bryant, it was that slag cop, Francisco. He busted Lonnie, my brother, for working in a chop shop. Lonnie pulled six years. I mean, six years? I had to do something, right? Tom... The police now know the virus exists. What if they're able to come up with some kind of antidote before we're ready? Don't you understand? Everything we've worked so hard for. All our hopes of the Earth restored to human beings, of a future free to the alien parasite. Everything is jeopardized because of your selfish act. I'm really sorry. I'm just heartsick about this. Oh, no. When we landed here, we thought this planet would be our salvation. Someone has developed this virus to kill us. You don't know that. The human delivery man wasn't affected. In the five years we have been on Earth, there has never been a virus that was exclusively harmful to newcomers. Suddenly, this one appears as part of a murder attempt. It had to come from a laboratory. Emily and Susan are gonna be all right. We'll see. Look, a falling star. That's good luck, huh? Show him your badge. George, how are they? The doctor's in with them now. Those flowers were meant for me. Mr. Francisco, we've got them both on life support. It seems that the intensive ultraviolet and nitrogen are keeping your wife and your daughter stable, but their condition is still critical. Look, can we go inside? If it's a virus, it must be contagious. At this point, we're not sure, but it seems through normal contact, one doesn't pick up enough of the virus to become ill. Susan and Emily must have aspirated a massive quantity. You may go in if you observe strict infectious procedure, but don't take the baby. Yeah. George? If there's anything I can do. We've set up a lab to study the virus. I've got to get to work. Kathy?
What are you doing here? What do you got back there? Hey, Slag, I asked you a question. Hey! Let go! Let go! No! No! Sykes, your prisoner's here. Thanks, Seth. Sykes. Elliot, you lost weight. What's the matter? You don't like the food at Chino? Where the hell's my lawyer? What'd you bring me here for? Hey, Sykes, I'm waiting transport on this yo-yo. Can I leave him here? Sure, more the merrier. Tell me, Elliot, what's new on the purest grapevine? Does that have to be in here? Well, you're not ashamed of being a purist. Purist? Oh, yeah. Elliot here once burned a newcomer family out of Glendale. Sykes. Easy. Elliot will kick your ass. What do you know about a virus that affects newcomers? I don't know a thing. He says, after he kicks your ass, he's going after your mother. Back off. Sorry, Sykes, we'll ship him off to Chino. What? Elliot's going back. Put him in the paddy wagon together. You can't do that. You can't do that! Oh, yeah. All right! All right! Come on, Mo, let's go. Come on. Word is one of the purest groups created this virus. Which one? Where are they? I don't know. But they're going to make enough to soak L.A. I have failed to reach most of you with the lesson I was given to teach. I thought when I was a young man, I was a young man. I would conquer man. the world. I would conquer the world with the truth. The golden New menu sound. tonight. New menu tonight. Only a few of them heard. I was only doing my job. I never hurt anyone. Derek, he pitched our club. That's what the evening is. What them here, Kirk? Your Excellency. Where are other overseers? I don't know. It will never be cynical. Now ask what the evening is. I ought to buy one. You came to get the slaves? I hope we can. Keep this dog jacket. Purists. They have a virus. Purists. They hate us. They're going to kill us with that virus. Oh. Only two are sick. Is it the truth, One liver shake with both. You want a little spleen with that? It's only a dollar more. Get the hell out of my car! What are you doing? Slave. Newcomer activists charged this virus was created by radical purists for use against the newcomer community. 
In other local news, the Department of Food and Agriculture said that despite protests from environmental groups, the agency will renew malathion spraying in an effort to stop the latest wave of killer bees. <laughs> Can you believe it? Don't worry, we'll get them. Who? The purists. I'm talking about the malathion. It's hell on the patio furniture. Patio furniture, right. You got a pass. Uh, where's Detective Francisco? He's in with his wife. It'll be just a moment. We're uh, intubating her journal flanges. Journal flanges, right. Albert, what are you doing? These are for Susan and Emily. <laughs> you can't bring a chicken in here. Why not? It's an animal. You can't bring an animal into a hospital. But we're animals. Al, we're animals, but we're human. I'm human. You're a newcomer. This is an animal animal. Susan and Emily need it. They need the life force of many, Nahuma. Many souls like these. Oh, Albert. Look what you brought. I tried well, to tell him you could That's couldn't. very therapeutic, Albert. Thank you very much. Oh, and Matt, you brought... Oh. What's the matter? You don't like snapdragons? No, they're cut off from the plant. Their souls are gone. Tanktonese believe dying flowers aren't good for the sick, but I'm sure Emily and Susan would want to see you. Please. Oh, Albert, uh, get a mask. They're getting worse. Is there anything you want? Visa Huli. I'll get it. Uh, what's a Visa Huli? A song. She wants us to sing her a song. Sing? I don't know any Tintinese songs. Uh, no, her favorite is San Jose. She loves Dion Warwick. George, I, I can't carry a tune. How about Albert? I'm sorry, I don't know that one. George, I can't sing, really. Oh, all right. Do you know the way to San Jose? I've been away so long. I may go wrong and lose my way. Do you know the way to San Jose? I'm going back to find some peace of mind in San Jose. LA is a great big freeway. Put a hundred down and buy a car. In a week, maybe two, I'll make you a star. Weeks turn into years, how quick they pass. And all the stars that never were are parking cars and pumping gas. You can really breathe in San Jose. I've got a lot of space. I know a place where I can stay. I was born and raised in San Jose. I'm going back to find some peace of mind in San Jose. What kind of a problem? Is it the virus? Well, like I said, it's technical. They'll have to explain. What? Happy, Happy birthday, Miss Bryant! <laughs> Oh, you had me so scared. Oh, this is so sweet of you. Thank you, all of you. You know what I'm wishing. Oh, here goes my diet. Your wish is about to come true, Miss Bryant. We have the best birthday gift possible. They found a way to replicate the virus twice as quickly. We'll be ready to spray in two days. That is wonderful. <laughs> what about the Franciscos? I understand they're still alive. That's only because they're still on life support. You can't put 250,000 slags on life support. By Friday, they'll all be dead. TGIF. Who wants the flower? I do. Oh. I do. <laughs> oh. Can I help you? Look, um, you've been hanging around here all day. Good night, Dr. Frankel. Good night. Just what do you want? Excuse me.
Hi. Your dad call? He wanted me to pick up a few things. There. Listen, uh, anything you need? Did I do something wrong? You're human. Not according to my ex-wife. Right. Okay, anything else? Dad wanted those seretsos. Seretsos. One's Emily's, the other's mom's. Vessels of our souls. Aha. Uh -huh. We keep them next to our bed at night. We believe that our souls wander while we sleep. At dawn, our souls return to us through the set so. Good. Okay. Well, I better get this stuff to the hospital. Has anyone ever told you you have beautiful knuckles? <laughs> Thanks. So do you. May, if anything should happen to us, I mean, you know, this virus... Nothing's going to happen. But if it does, I, I want you to know... I... I... I love you. Albert! There's no toilet paper in the men's room. I knew I forgot something. Damn it, if you can't do anything else right, can you at least keep the John properly stocked? Captain Grazer's under a lot of pressure. He shouldn't speak to you like that. Yeah, I, um, I should probably get back to work. Albert. I love you, too. Hi. George, what are you doing here? I'm a police officer, aren't I? Yeah, but... I can't just sit around that hospital with Moby Dick in my hand. Or whatever. Matt, I need to do something. Sure, George. Right. It would take very expensive, sophisticated equipment to synthesize a viral agent. I'm tracing invoices from laboratory supply houses over the last year and a half. Sounds good. Uh, I was talking to Sergeant Tran at the purest unit. He sent over some surveillance photos. All the usual suspects except this guy. I've never seen him before. Hey, Zep. You recognize this guy with Bryant? Mm -mm. Run a make, will you? The, the cross-reference it with the FBI photo library, DMV. County, city, any place that uses picture ID. You got it. Hi. Any luck? I've tried xenamine, platine, a whole range of antiviral drugs. Nothing seems to work. Kathy, uh, I know what you must have thought when you saw me with Lorraine. I'm sorry, I should have told you. I have to find a monoclonal antibody. I know we've been, well, kind of seeing each other, but still, we keep having problems. I just thought, I don't know, it might be better if I started going out with a human woman. Matt, does any of that matter now? Copulous. Queen? Hey! What did he say? He was afraid I was an overseer. Natia keeps both the English? Uh, my English is not good, but I want to help you. I am doctor. He says he worked in the ship's infirmary. Well, thanks for the offer, but this isn't the candy stripers. You don't just walk in here and volunteer, pal. Wait. 
کفوت پیم کودا سیک ساتیر دالات. کفوت کرد من کفوت. کفوت کرست و ناسیون است. He knows his physiology. Well, then he should know where his butt is, which I'm kicking out of here. Matt, Dr. Frankel, I'll be right there. Emily's condition has deteriorated. Let me see. No, doctor, you're not going under that ward. You don't know this guy. What is it? Her temperature's still rising. I've given her injections of Halatka, but it hasn't helped, so I'm putting an ice wrap on her. Let's double it up. Uh, <clears throat> George, I don't know how to say this, but if Emily was my daughter, I sort of want to bring in a priest. So she can go to heaven? Well, Matt, I appreciate the thought, but we don't believe priests have anything to do with where we go after death. George, Matt, I, I need to get a vase for these. Uh, look, I made the same mistake. See, flowers are pretty, but they're uh, dying. It's a newcomer thing. Uh, Lorraine, I'm afraid this isn't a very good time for visitors. Matt, why don't you two go get something to eat? Yeah, OK. Uh, come with us. No, I'm not hungry. You go. Julie, get me another ice wrap for her feet. You okay? Yeah. Tried to get George to bring in a priest. A priest? Emily might die tonight. You're Catholic. You understand. No. You worried about her soul? Mad. We, we don't even know if they have souls. What are you talking about? There's nothing in the Bible about newcomers. When Christ came to us as a man. He died for human beings. Come on, what are you saying? They're not in a club? No, I, I, I'm sure God has a plan for the newcomers. But it isn't the same as ours. Oh, man. <sighs> man, what? I got to get back to George. Emily's getting better. Why isn't Susan? I'm going back to the lab. Oh. Javon. Javon. I brought you these. Where did you get all this? I keep it from the sh ships of the crash. Las ribas contendere. Tosaka long, please, that's all. I stole it. From the ship. Will it help you? Yes. Oh, yes. Now we can together work. <sighs> you do not trust me. I am different. Yes. Because I am alone in the desert since the crash. Five years you were in the desert? I hide from overseers. I I'm afraid. All that time, you never knew we were free. La Cruz. Mm. 
What's this? It's odd. Many of us developed a rash like this when we first landed on Earth, from the salt air. Why would you get it after five years? I know. The air in Los Angeles is more saline than the desert. We're closer to the ocean. You must be reacting to it. I'll get you some ointment. Watch my finger. Dos. Is there pain? Here? No, it tickles. Cat? It tickles. Dugga. Ah. Tickles. Your chest looks fine, Em. Both hearts are in phase. My back's sore. Oh. Armada gland. It is a little swollen. It's probably from the fever. To your room, I'll take you. I want to see Mom. I'm really worried about her. Of your father, you must be very proud. The police fight the overseers, yes? No, they don't let them do that here. Oh, but he must know who they are. Where are they? A lot of them, yeah. Oh. Hi, Matt. Hey, Puddin. Brought you something. Jelly file. You brush your teeth now. I will. Thanks, Matt. I'm gonna see Mom. Well, look who joined the staff. I am helping Kathy. Really? What a sport. I think you and Kathy are good friends. I think that's none of your business. Plants. All the animals. Nothing helps. Why aren't there more new constructors on the staff? George. George. Sorry. Apozno. Kathy says you've been a great deal of help. Thank you. Anything on the case? Medical supply company outfitted a warehouse with the latest biological engineering equipment. Bogus corporation, but the vendor gave us a positive ID on the buyer. Uh, Phyllis Bryant. Ms. Purist. Psych. We got a make on that guy with Bryant. Mark Guerin, he's clean. No arrest, no priors, no previous purist activity. That's it? Oh, he's a government employee, flies choppers for food and agriculture. Food and agriculture? They're spraying malathion tonight. They can cover the city with that virus. Call the airport, Zepp. Ground those choppers. I'm just a few minutes from the airfield. Meet me there. I'm going with you. I too. What? I am Udara. Udara? He's what? A Japanese samurai. Among the slaves, they were the elite. A secret group of warriors. Right. First he's Albert Schweitzer, now he's Steven Seagal. If he is Udara, it can't hurt to take him with us. He's not a cop. This is our battle. We fight to save the tank police. Matt, he has skills we could use. Are you nuts? I'm not worried about regulations. Our survival is at stake. George, him. Someday, Mark, when the world comes to its senses, humankind will honor what you're about to do. God be with you. I guess I'd take care of those slags. Hoist it. Mark, what are they doing? Well, they're just adjusting some canister fittings. What's up? The flight's been scrubbed. You and Hank aren't going up tonight. Why not? I don't know. It uh, came from LAPD. It's OK by me, we, as long as we get paid. Let's say we get a drink. You read my mind. Why don't you go over to Casey's and get us a table? I'll just be a minute. You got it. Let's do it. We got trouble. Get out of here, guys. Go. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's get out of here.
It's gonna be okay, George. We'll get you to the hospital. He's failing faster than Susan. Why? What's different? The only thing I can think of is he is a male. Could that have anything to do with it? Something in the female immune system. Then how come Emily recovered and Susan hasn't? Treatment was identical. Perhaps her age. Yes. Emily is 13. Emily just turned 13. The swollen monoglot. We need female newcomer blood. Ten units at least. Hurry. We can use your isolator. What? What is it? We have to extract female hormone. Uh, yeah. Why? What for? It must be the antibody. It must be what cured Emily. But Susan's a female. Yes, but she's at the end of her cycle, so she doesn't have enough. Emily's a nista. She just released a tremendous amount of this hormone. Nistas? Puberty, Matt. Emily's going through puberty. Ten cc's. I brought a surge, so. Look. Susan's responding. Okay. You were great tonight. Thanks. I'm so tired. I feel like I've been on my feet for a week. You know, Kathy, I thought you and me could never work out. I thought the differences between us just wouldn't let it. I was wrong. I realize that now. Maybe. Maybe we can try it again. Let me see Srika a bit. How did you survive in the desert for five years? I was a slave on a mining colony in Adiran. This earth desert didn't seem so bad. Are those our leaders? I see their picture everywhere. Uh, it's just an ad for a spot green. Ad? To make you want something so you'll go out and buy it. But we know what we want, what we need. Well, it's, it's part of human culture. 
we've had to adapt. Actually, advertising is how I make my living. George! Susan! You should both be in wheelchairs. We're fine, really. Strong as a lox. Yes. All right, but I want you both to eat a lot of cartilage and fresh lung. Get Excuse your strength me. back. Tell me, why do you choose to live among them, with the humans? <laughs> well, we don't have much choice. Well, not all humans are enemies. You'll see. This is a very good place to live. Tell me, how many humans are there on this planet? Six billion. Really? Hmm. Hey! Buck and I got the house all cleaned up. There's tripe in the fridge and a gallon of old milk in the oven. Oh, thank you, Matt. Maybe we could work together again. I'd like that. Okay, everybody back to work. Will you teach me about this world? Of course. Do street. Where's he going? Oh, the person was staying with us until he gets settled. Whoa. Whoa. Trust me, George, he's not kosher. Well, of course he's not Jewish. What does that have to do with it? <sighs> what I mean is there's something not right about him. He just needs a little socialization. Well, I let him go to the Bureau of Newcomer Affairs. That's what they're there for. Matt, the was a friend. He's proof that. Anything I can do, anything at all? Thank you. Um, I'll call you later. Please. Nice. Mm. This is yours? Well, like they say, the bank owns most of it, but uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, Matt's waiting. I have to get to work. They show him the trash compactor. I bet he's never seen anything like that. <laughs> Friend, our home is your home. Oh. You don't like it much, do you? Well, I suppose it's very human. Yes, I suppose it is. Talk to him yesterday. Okay, lady. I wouldn't let a Posno in my house, George. Well, look who's checking into Heartbreak Hotel. Give her the Lizzie Borden suite. Lovely view of the cinder block wall. You know, detective, it's a finite world. Whatever they take, water, food, jobs, there's that much less for us. Yeah, Phyllis, sing me the blues. It's your children and your grandchildren who will pay for what you've done. Say goodnight, Phyllis. George, Detective Sykes, congratulate me. May just asked me to marry her. Oh, congratulations, Albert. <laughs> oh, he'll make you a wonderful husband. And he's a handsome fellow, a hot tamale, a real cream box. Albert! My shirts, you brought them from the cleaners on a hanger. I like them folded in a box. What goes on up there? I'll get right on it. Oh, there's toilet paper in the bathroom, Captain. And I wrote your name on it so that no one else can use it. Gonna be very hard for me to resist. Shut up, Sykes. You, back to the hospital. Oh, Captain, I feel fine. Top tip, in the red. Pink. However, it's not a checkup. You got a homicide. Homicide? Newcomer victim found in his car in the hospital parking lot. Oh, George, what about that gizmo he had? The thing he brought the chopper down with? Where did he get something like that? Matt, you're obsessing on a pasta. I'm sure once you get to know him better, you'll like him. Come over tonight. Have dinner with us. Pass on that. Kathy's coming. I'll be there. Lois! Whew! Take that one out of the oven. It's done. Sykes, nice. George, glad to see you up in a bag. Oh, thank you, Lois. Uh, what do we have? Newcomer, male. His name's Kenny Bunkford, 35 years old. He's been dead about three days, killed by a single axillary blow. To the armpit. I know what axillary is. What was the murder weapon? Can a right guard? <laughs> Somebody's fist. 
And that somebody was strong. Yeah, I know it hurts you guys, like getting whacked in the Goonies, but fatal? The Tenkanese actually is comparable to the human temple. Theoretically, a blow could be lethal, although... What? It would take uncommon precision. I don't know why I didn't redecorate sooner. You know, we surround ourselves with everything human, and yet we have such a rich culture of our own. Oh, fuck. You better give Vesna her bath. It's getting late. Let me. She's probably scared from everything. I'll take her. Maybe after dinner you can tell me more about Idaro. He killed four overseers with his bare hands. Really? Susan. Look who's joining us for dinner. I'm... Oh, Matt. Hi. Susan, what have you done? I'm making this a Tanktonese home, George. Apozno inspired me. Doctor, ninja, and interior decorator. Excuse me. What we've been through, almost dying. George, it's made me reevaluate my life. It's time for some changes in my home, in my job. What? I gave notice. You know, Aposna was right about advertising. That Aposna. <sighs> Miss Susan, don't I have a say in all this? You know, that's another thing. We've fallen into this human habit of you making too many decisions. When you know perfectly well that in traditional Tanktonese society, women made all of them. <laughs> Susan. Aposna said that in Tundash villages, men did nothing but bear children and gather roots, George. Is there something in the kitchen I can do? Rinse some membranes? Susan, we've made plans based on two incomes. The UV room, the trampoline, the Winnebago. George, we don't need things. We need identity. Ah, get it. Kathy, what a surprise. Hello, Matt. Susan, George, Kathy. Is Apostno here? That's him playing. I think she was glad to see me. That was beautiful. Lucky boy. How is it hanging? It's hanging fine. I've been practicing my English. Thank you for these books. I brought you something else. Your NRC, Newcomer Registration Card. They named you Norman Conquest. <laughs> you now have all the rights of a citizen. You're free. No one can ever enslave you again. Thank you. You are kind. You are beautiful. You look like with the cat revenant. Left in a hurry last night. Shame you missed dinner. We had some wonderful liver filled with whipped cream. New twinks. Was it something anyone sent? Can we just get to work here? Or is that the kind of decision Susan has to make? Are you implying I'm kitty whipped? No, George. I never for a moment thought that you were kitty whipped. We have a missing person, a human, a rancher named Raymond Taylor. Put a hold on that till we finish the bunk port case. Why? Well, I think it might be of major significance. Major significance? Bunk port probably just stiffed a loan shark. Matt, whoever the murderer was clearly has uncommon martial skills. Also, what? Well, I just have a feeling. A feeling? You mean like Booga Booga, Sixth Sense, ESP? Humor me. Fabric fibers were found under Bunkport's fingernails. It's possible they came from the murderer's clothing. SID is running an analysis. Uh. Hello. We missed you at dinner last night. I suddenly took ill. I'm glad to see you're feeling better. What's going on? Oh, Posner wanted to know where I worked. 
I said I'd give him a tour of the precinct. Oh, sure, why not? We got nothing better to do today. I'm going to the morgue to get some fresh air. He doesn't like me. No, no, it, it's just that Matt's interpersonal skills are a little weak. I've got to get to the lab. Much work here. Uh, I'm afraid so. How do you remember everything? With computers, like this. I can bring up any case, review files on any suspects, any former convicts. It's linked to my computer at home, so I can access the files there, too. Now, uh, humans are identified by markings on their uh, fingertips. <laughs> and uh, Tank Denise. Uh, we were all tissue typed in quarantine. George, at the wedding. Hello. May wants me to wear a blue gown. What color did you wear at yours? Well, Albert, I was married aboard the ship. There were no gowns. Oh, forgot, of course. You let them marry? What do you mean? Oh, here's the number four. A zombie. Albert is as smart as any of us. Those slave classifications are meaningless. You must forgive Apostno. He's been alone in the desert since the crash. Here, everyone is allowed to marry. Oh. Equality, that's, that's good. Congratulations. Excuse me. We are truly free here. Studying history. Abraham Lincoln, what a great man. Yes. Uh, that computer requires an access code. Oh, I, uh, I asked Susan. I, I didn't want to bother you. It also contains classified information. If you wish to use the encyclopedia, use Buck's computer. All right. Oh, I'm tired now. Good night, Jimmy. Good night. your note well i've been working on my tank denise you wrote please join me inside a pot of milk but <laughs> i got the idea <laughs> well here what are you doing hmm? the shirt the music this <sighs> kathy i want us to be together Oh, Matt. Give us a chance. <laughs> Look, you don't say yes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drink this sour milk. Matt. I mean it. I will. I'll drink it down to the last curd. It will make you sick. You're going to say yes? Hmm? Okay. Delicious. Matt, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do. But I think it's better if we just stay good friends. It's a pause now, isn't it? I'm sorry. I'm missing my backgammon club. 
I tried to push this till next weekend, but he insisted. Your long wait is over. In a week's time, you'll leave this planet. What? I've been sent to facilitate the recovery of our slaves. The recovery of the slaves? <laughs> it's been five years. This is ridiculous. I mean, the slaves would have to be retrained, reconditioned. You... Sir, I'm sure he didn't mean to question your authority. It's just that, well, we're all just a little surprised. I didn't save them from the virus to leave them here. Oh, the expense will be enormous. Has anyone done a cost analysis? It's not your place to worry about the economics. I also plan to take the humans. Oh, my God. Well, that's an excellent idea, sir. Only... Only what? <laughs> well, they're not very strong. They could still do domestic work. But they're very ugly. I <laughs> would really want one in their house. <laughs> Hello, Susan. Oh, goodness. I've redecorated. Yes, I can tell. It's nice. It's it's very nice. <laughs> now, oh, I brought you these fresh, raw, sweetbreads, gizzards. Oh, thank you. That's <laughs> lovely. Oh, sit down. Oh, I, I really can't stay. The house is for sale, and we're showing it today. You're moving. I know. We'll miss you, too. We're just fed up with the city. We were in Coeur d'Alene last summer. Oh, you wouldn't believe how beautiful Idaho is. So clean. Anyhow, Susan, this is really difficult for me. You know, some people have this stupid prejudice. I mean, I think it's terrible, but we do have to sell our house. Yes. Please don't take this the wrong way, but could you keep Buck and Emily inside this afternoon? Inside? God, this is so hard for me. You see, some people come into a neighborhood, they see newcomers. You understand? Yes, I understand. Get out of my house, Penny. And take oh. this. Susan, you know this has nothing to do with how I act. Get out! There's some cookies in the kitchen for you. I'm gonna get some ivy. Okay. Hey, Mrs. Francisco. Emily. What? Take the ivy from the backyard. I hate the ivy in the backyard. There's no snails. Emily, please. God, Mom, what's your problem? Darwin. He's on my list. Darwinian theory states that Homo sapiens evolved from them. I can see that. I don't like zoos very much, to tell you the truth. My well, captivity, it's a little oh. too close to home. I still think about being a slave every day, but I suppose that's not a bad thing. It helps me appreciate my freedom all the more. There's so much I want to do, so much I want to learn. This new world is so full of possibilities. We can have our dreams now. I'm sure it's a healthy thing. Susan re-examining her roots is just, sometimes I feel a positive manipulates her. Aha, uh -huh. you still think he's the second coming? Second. Matt, I have never met him before in my life. Albert. Have you decided on the color of your wedding gown? I called the wedding off. How come? Because May deserves better than a number four. An idiot. Oh, Albert. It... It's a Posno's fault. He reminded Albert that he's different. Oh. It's your fault, too. What? Albert called off his wedding. Why is that my fault? Albert, you call us a clean ashtray? Albert, the doorknobs are sticky. Albert, brush my teeth. Hey. Look, I only expect him to perform the basic duties of his job description. Yeah, yeah. I got your job description. Matt, SID's analysis of the fibers found under Kenny Bunkport's fingernails contain a particular coarse silicate. Gamma night. <laughs> I 
heard that back on Tank Dawn, a warrior would have to fight for his set it so. That was the ultimate challenge, yes. In a duel. To take another's life and soul. Did you ever do that? I've killed. But never so nobly. by today she asked if we could stay inside so we wouldn't scare off people who might buy her house penny's a fool she always has been it's not just penny george they want to exterminate us we don't belong here we can paint the walls all we want but we're never going to make this our home and where do you suggest we go there are communities in the mountains just for tank Denise. you want us to segregate ourselves we'd be safe george and we wouldn't have to depend on humans. Susan, the world is too small. Everyone on this planet depends on everyone else. We tried living with turds. It just doesn't work. We should live with our own, right? Now, why ask him? He's been in the desert for five years. What does he know? He hasn't been polluted by them. He is still Tank Denise. I see. When you were on Ederon mining Oxmer, didn't you depend on other species? That was Ederon. What does that have to do with this? There were no Oxmer mines on Ederon. I don't know who you are or where you came from, but I want you out of my house by tomorrow. Dad! Tomorrow! Throwing a posno out won't change anything. Look, it'll be okay. Every marriage has its ups and downs. You're divorced. Yeah, well, so I know about the downs. Here's your breakfast. Thank you, Mary. Just yours. Thanks. Hey, I got something, George. That silicate, gammonite, it's used in making ceramics. Closest ceramics factory is in the Mojave. Small town called Cantillo. What is this? Oh, uh, Marmot Entrail. Steam. Scrambled eggs. Oh, she's mixed up our orders again. Francisco, is this your pancreas? Oh, probably Sergeant Gosling's. She always eats pancreas in the morning. May has fallen apart ever since Albert called off the wedding. You got to do something about this. Me? All right. All right. I'll think of something. Matt. Oh, Gosling. What was the name of that town in the Mojave? Cantil. A truck was found abandoned in Little Tankton, registered to that missing rancher, Raymond Taylor. He lives in Cantil. Last anyone saw Raymond was five days ago. Fred Nader over to the filling station sold him a tank of gas. He remembers, because just a few minutes later, he saw that shooting star. You know, if Taylor knew a Kenny Bunkport, did he often go into L.A.? Beats me. Matt, I want to check that out. What? I don't see anything. Vultures. <laughs> Tire marks, 12 inches. Same as Taylor's. It's Taylor. That's odd. Look at the broken ribs. Taylor was hit repeatedly under the arm. In the axilla. What's that mean? He was attacked as if he were a newcomer. Why? Sure as hell don't look like one. No offense, partner. The murderer finally broke Taylor's neck. He could have used Taylor's truck to drive to L.A., where he killed Bunkport. I got a suspect for you, George. Possible. Comes out of the desert after five years, the same day Taylor's murdered. He would have needed clothing, transportation. He tries to kill Taylor, but he doesn't know about humans. So he finally breaks Taylor's neck. Matt, that's so circumstantial. Come on, Detective Two. He's a, whatchamacallit, a, a tank Denise samurai. He kills with his hands. And where did we find that dead newcomer, Bunkport? At the hospital. The first place we met a Posno. I'm getting SID out here. 
addition to that, human defenses will be easy to overcome. They have only primitive nuclear weapons and chemical agents that don't affect us. Well, we're picking up the tank duties here in Southern California. A second ship will begin human deportation in these densely populated areas in India. This is a big mistake. The Tantanese will never make good slaves again. Your humans, your humans are worthless. You've argued against this from the beginning. Because we're settled. We have our families. We have our businesses. And I, for one, have no desire to climb back aboard a slave ship. You're an overseer. You have your duty. As far as I'm concerned, those days are over. Excuse me. None of us can escape our duty. You all have your assignments. Contact the others. I'm leaving tomorrow to rendezvous with the mothership and coordinate the operation. We'll return in force. Is Apostno still here? He left. Did he say where he was going? No. Isn't it enough that he's gone? Our village. There was very little when I was taken, but still I remember. The quality of light, I just can't seem to get it. Susan, we can't go back. We're here now. That's gone. And you're not going to recreate it by segregating yourself in a phony Tanktonese village. That's death, Susan. It's the loss of hope. I can't stop you if you decide to leave. But I won't go with you. It's against everything I believe. I have hope. Nothing's changed. This is police business. Do you know where Apozno is? Isn't he at the Francisco's? Not anymore. Do you have plans to see him? He's coming here tomorrow. I'm taking him to Edwards. He wants to see where the space shuttle lands. Did he leave any possessions here? No. And I'm not going to answer any more questions until you tell me what this is all about. Apozno is a suspect in a murder investigation. What? We think he's killed two people, a human and a newcomer. How can you stoop so low? What are you talking about? Finally, after all this time, you decide that you want a relationship with me. Kathy, this No, you're is jealous not... of Apozno. You know that he has feelings for me and that I have feelings for him, so you turn him into a murder suspect. You think I'd do that? I don't know what you're capable of. You're only human. You look me in the eye and you tell me Apozno's on the square. Tell me he's got nothing to hide. Tell me you have no doubts about him. Get your hands off me. <clears throat> Matt. Yeah, yeah we'll take care. Everybody, can I have your attention, please? Thank you. Um, I have an announcement to make. As you've probably heard, Chief Ambergy has instituted a new award, the MVP, Most Valuable Player, uh, Person, to commend outstanding performance in the line of duty, particularly among support personnel. Deciding the first recipient was a difficult task, but the choice was inescapable. The first ever All Precinct MVP award goes to our own Albert Einstein. Hey. Come on up here, Albert. Get your plaque. Now, this shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. We all know that our station couldn't function without you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice job, Albert. 
All right, everybody back to work. Uh, listen, now. Sometimes I get a little impatient, but it doesn't mean anything. This is the way I am. Okay? Where Taylor's neck was broken, they found newcomer skin cells. I ran a tissue type. It wasn't in the computer. So whoever killed Taylor never went through quarantine? Just like a Posno. Yeah. What do you make of that? SID found it near Taylor's body. It's the symbol of the Chaka. The what? An elite overseer reconnaissance unit. So? There were no members of the Chaka aboard our ship. Well, how can that be? The military personnel. They're never stationed aboard slave transport ships. The puzzler must have just arrived. What are you talking about? They of? sent him. He must have landed in the desert. That shooting star. They're coming to enslave us again. George? George! Kathy. The isolator you brought to the hospital. I never saw anything that advanced on the ship. The rash on your neck? Five years in the desert and you never saw a human. You just landed here, didn't you? Why are you here? It doesn't matter. I'm going now and I want you to come with me. No. Get your hands up. Move away from her. This is 1 William 152 requesting backup at 846 East Alameda. Get your hands up now! Navid! Don't do this! You'll be free! You'll be with me! You've seen our life here, our chance at happiness! Don't let them take that away! I'm a soldier, Captain. I have my orders. Tell them that we're dead. Tell them not to come! No! Stay here! Live with us! I cannot change who I am. Neither can I. This is as far as I go. Kathy, I care for you. Come with me. I cannot be free if the others are slaves. You and I, for this, keep your life. I don't want it. Orton Jarfa, or does the Chakar have no honor? Don't do this, George. He'll kill you. <laughs> Well...
You owe me your life. I will take your soul. what you've done? Yes. Kathy. Ostromna. I had to fight him. He had to take the Sertso. It's filled with the virus. By the time Apostle reaches the mothership, he'll be dead. They'll think it's this planet. They won't come. spiritual ancestors, Selene and Andarko. And today, these four hearts shall be two. We celebrate the integration of our male and our female selves. Today, we are reminded that we cannot live one without the other. 
This is not just the joining of two lives. It is a symbol of our universal marriage. For in fact, all species are created one. We are one in essence. We are one in destiny. We must strive to see the creator in each of us, to recognize the creator in all things. Only thus can we have love and hope. Only thus will we survive. As part of the marriage ceremony, the bride and groom will place their serzos, the symbol of their souls, into the carabla, the eternal ship, as they begin their life voyage together. Glenza. Okeana. And with the blessing of Celine and Andarco, and the power vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you wife and husband. Let's <laughs> go. 